Hi friends, uh, welcome to Aditya RP Academy, BTM Layout Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with exceptional handling that is advanced. And in this video, we are going to see like you know, how to handle like a business rule. And it comes around like you know, two to three videos. And uh, please follow like a sequence. So for this one. So I am creating one work queue. Here I am assigning a name that is patient ID. Then click on apply. So here I am creating one process. patient so information process so open a process so here I am creating one collection So here I'm assigning a name like a patient. So information. So here I'm creating like two columns means like a yard field. The first column is a patient ID. And the data type is text. And the next one is date of birth and select the data type is date so patient information so here I am creating like 10 records And here I can select either uh, data type is either text or number. You know, I am selecting like a number and go to initial values. And here I am creating like 10 records. Here the patient ID is, I am giving like you know, multi different, like you know, let us say like you know, 8 digits, 6 digits, and 7 digits like that. If you observe here, I'm giving like you no know, uh, various uh, like you no know, different uh, now like you no know, select like digits. Here I'm taking one like you no know, eight records. This is it's like six digit, six digit, and seven digits. 8 digits, 8 digits, and again it's like 6, 7 digits, 7 digits, and 8 digits. And the data part is so I'm giving like you know different uh, types of like you know, usually the adult means like more than 18, you know, 18 years old comes under adult, but whereas here I'm giving like you know, some of them are like you know, more than 18 years, some of them are like you know, less than 18 years.
here I'm giving some, you know, I'm giving like 2002 means like less than 18 years. Then, so collection is ready. Now I'm going to add them to queue. So already I have created the queue in on the system tab. So you can see. So like uh, work, work queues, like a patient ID and go to control room. It's available here. So right now it's an empty. Then now I'm going to add this information to queue. There's a patient ID and drag and drop the okay, action. And now I'm going to use like internal business object that is work queues. Then you add to queue. Because we need to provide like you know, as the, the name of the work queue is like as it is. So Q name, keep in double quotes. Then collection, drag and drop collection. And then we don't require all these things and output and click on store in like a shortcut. Yeah, to Q. So link stages, so reset it and then run it. If you observe here, these records are added to queue. Like, let me go to control tab, patient ID, it's like so far 8 records were added. Okay, there is one empty record, so remove row. So, okay then reset it now we have only eight records let me run it once again now you can see the control tab okay reset now you can see like some once again the records were added now i'm running it once again so reset it and then run it once again and many records were added to queue. Now I'm going to delete this uh, add to queue. Now I'm going. Now I'm using like get next item. Okay, please stay with us uh, for more information regarding uh, like how to handle handling a business rule. Thank you.